Hi, it's Brian Newman with the 101 Referral Network, and we're doing this week's roundtable. Today we have some of our members, and we want you to meet them one by one. <clears throat> we're going to start with Stephen Parks. Hi, Stephen. How are you? Doing great. How's everybody else doing? Yeah, good. <clears throat> good. Yeah, so can you tell us who you are, what you do, how can they get in touch with you, and how has the 101 Referral Network impacted your business life? Perfect. So my name is Stephen Parks, everybody. Uh, I am owner of your CBD store of Tempe and of Old Town Scottsdale. That's the picture in the background that you see of us in our my Old Town Scottsdale store having a good time. Um, sorry if you missed the happy hour, but either way though, yeah, you know, um, I have been doing CBD now for about five years. I've been into cannabis for about 20 years, but I'm more of the relief without the high. Um, you know, I have nothing against marijuana, seriously. That's, you know, definitely where I started at. But, you know, it's a very convoluted game. It is not good to go into any dispensary and purchase stuff without a certificate of analysis because they lie to you about just about everything. They will promise you the world with their products, but you never know what's in it. And, and the reason why I picked CBD over THC is because I want to help heal people. THC is a main proponent of making CBD work better, but we don't need to get high as a kite every single day, you know, and that's where people go wrong. Um, they do really, really, really want some better health benefits out of everything. But at the end of the day, I actually have studied nutrition for seven years now, and I combined nutrition with cannabis. And I felt as if CBD and the way it works in the body is going to be much better. But then we also offer a very, very trustworthy product. Um, my CBD stores is part of a network of 600 stores in the nation. It originated in Tampa, Florida, and it has spread all the way out here to the West Coast. I have been a very big integral part of that growth. Um, you know, I've done at least 20 stores myself and only own two. So, and that's probably a low number right there, the 20. But either way, though, um, you know, they call me the CBD guy because <laughs> I just know what I'm talking about, you know, no need to brag or anything. Yes, but... he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes, thank you, thank you. And when it comes down to it, you know, overall, we help people with pain, inflammation, anxiety, stress, depression, insomnia, the list goes on. I've helped people with cancer, diabetes. I have literally helped people rid their type two diabetes. I give them diet plans. I don't just sell CBD. You know, people come in and they see me as like a smoke shop owner or, you know, I'm a dispensary, anything like that. Now we are trying to create our own image of an actual CBD store and what we should actually be doing for the people, um, not for money and, you know, not for the overall outlook of getting people high or anything like that. Like we got products that'll give you a nice little buzz, but there's really no need to get that high and, you know, forget about who you actually are. <laughs> Um, but, um, you know, or forget about your pain, you know, we want to dive deep and actually hit the root issue. So, you know, if anybody is interested in, you know, a better lifestyle overall with their health, with their nutrition, and they want to do integrate cannabis with that, then, you know, you guys can reach me at my cell phone, which is 520-539-1309. I'm on my phone all day, every day. I'm constantly in meetings. I'm at least two meetings a day. I do these zoom calls you know, whatever I can do to help the public and just spread a good word. So uh, I have a store, my baby has the three year anniversary here in November. That one is on Baseline and McClintock. And then in Old Town Scottsdale, Fifth and Marshall in the roundabout with the horses, um, you know, basically right in the heart of Old Town. That one will also have a three year anniversary come November. Oh, wow. I didn't, I didn't start that store. It was my good friend Taylor who started that store and she sold me that store. She ran it for about a year. Uh, her husband became a scout for the major league baseball. And so she just didn't want it anymore. They didn't have the time. So they sold it to me. I assumed it, I took it over. And now, you know, you see the greatness that we do there also just by this amazing photo you see in the background, but you know, we're only here to help. If you guys need any information further than this, just hit me up. I'm always available. Um, I get up super early. That's probably the best time to reach me. It's like five, six o'clock in the morning. But, you know, to get into the one-on-one -on -one referral network program, <laughs> that changed my life. Okay. So I despise social media for the longest time. Okay. I never had a MySpace, never had a Facebook, never had an Instagram. I don't do none of that stuff. Okay. 
but um, I used to be sitting on my couches in my Tempe location and my buddy Larry, he's come walking by, he'd just come in, he'd always be going to the grocery store right there in the plaza and come, he'd chill out, he'd be like, man, like, Steven, you got a lot going on, man, like, why don't you post this stuff? He's like, you know how much people you could reach? Like, you, you're, like, very unique and you need to be on there. And I'm like, ah, you know, I don't care, blah, 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 my stubborn mind was just, I guess it's not needed because I did help build the biggest store in the country that did $90,000 a month um, without social media. So, you know, to me, I was like, I don't feel like I need that. My stores have never even reached that much though. You know, it's funny. I helped everybody else reach that. But of course I opened up November of 2019 when the pandemic hit. So I went through the motions. Um, it, it was hard, but you know, Larry, he told me, he's like, Steven, you have a story, you need to post it. And then you know, I, I kind of considered it, but then it's when I met Brian here, I was at a Women's Day Out Expo as a vendor at the Glendale Civic Center back in February, I believe it was. And Brian, he came up to my table and he was just like, hey man, we need another CBD person. Uh, the last CBD person that we had just kind of left out, has other things going on. You know, you should really be a part of it. And I was like, yeah, I'll consider it. So he's like, here, I'll invite you to a Zoom. If you like it, you know, we'll talk about it the next day. So I went to the Tuesday night Zoom call the next day, Brian, he contacted me and he was just like, hey, what'd you think? And I was like, actually, it was pretty awesome because that night, I'm pretty sure there was anywhere from like 40 to 50 people on that Zoom. And it was huge. And uh, he put us in these different rooms where we got to communicate and everybody was like, oh, man, that's amazing. Blah, blah, blah. So I was like, dang, OK, <laughs> maybe Larry was right, you know, so, um, you know, the next day. You know, I, I talked to you, Brian, and, you know, I was like, all right, well, can I use my uh, business page to do this? And you're like, no, no, you need to have a personal page. And then to get a business page, you have to create a personal page. So I always had the personal page. I just never utilized it. Um, I had it ever since November of 2019. So uh, never made a posting on it, never put any pictures up, nothing like that. Didn't even have a, a cover photo or anything like that. So I ended up um, uh, creating the personal Facebook account just because Brian told me like, hey, people want to see you. They don't want to see your business page. We can get them to go to your business page, but they want to see you. And so I was like, all right, cool. You know, then I started, I created my page and then, you know, then I started posting and it's about like a week into it. I was like, wow, I never realized how eventful my life actually is. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I just go through the daily motions of business every day. You know, I help people here. I help people there. I have a great team of people behind me, you know, like, and I try to spotlight them now on Facebook. And so now it's like, we're in August. So it's, you know, been about six months that I've been on Facebook now. And it has been the most incredible thing that changed my life. And it wasn't for you, Brian, actually telling me everything that you did and inviting me to that Zoom meeting that Tuesday night. Like, seriously, that changed my mm -hmm. life. And oh. I never knew any of these people in the background uh, before I did Facebook. You know, I wow. didn't know any wow. of them. And so now look at all these great smiles, look at everything, all the support has been huge. And it doesn't stop here. It goes way beyond the one-to-one -one referral network. You know, I have uh, been able to spread my wings and become a better person. So thank oh, you, Brian. Great. Oh, yeah, yeah, my pleasure. I'm telling you, Stephen, you know, and I got to, to go to your store and see what it was like. And uh, yeah, he's got a phenomenal store. No, so uh, yeah, thank you for uh, letting me know and letting others yeah. know about uh, how the 101 is yeah, affected. Business. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Veronica, can you go next? Sure, Stephen made me cry, huh? I know, uh, I know. <laughs> I, I couldn't have had that effect on people. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Um, That's well, great. <laughs> well, good morning, everyone, and hello, Brian. I am Veronica, and I am CEO of Big Mama's Pound Cake. And um, Big Mama's Pound Cake didn't start out on a positive note, but um, I got the opportunity to change that. Uh, I grew up where my grandmother made pound cakes and she would make those pound cakes and she would take those pound cakes to church or she'll give them to a friend or, you know, every once in a while we got to have one at home. And um, my grandmother passed. And when my grandmother passed, my mom asked me, was there anything that she had that I wanted? And for me, it was the pound cake pan because the pound oh, wow. cake pan had so many 
wonderful memories. That's the only thing I wanted was that band. So I was blessed. I, I, I brought the pan home. I had no idea how to make the pound cake. Okay, my grandmother always made it. You know, she may allow us to sip the flour or, you know, we had the bowl of spoon, you know, afterwards. But to actually make the cake myself, I don't ever remember of doing that. So I'm like, okay, well, I got the pan. I think the pan stayed in my house for about 10 years under the sink, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, my mother, she, as she was getting older and um, I take care of my daughter here. So, you know, she said, well, is it okay if I come and stay with you? I'm like, oh yeah, we would love that. You know, <laughs> come on down, I can help you and everything. So we got, I went down to Chicago, got her all packed and we shipped her stuff here and, Maybe a week later, my sister called me and told me my mom was, you know, was in the hospital and, you know, she wasn't doing well. So my mom passed, right? So she never made it down here, but I had her boxes. I had all her boxes. So as I was opening my mom's box, her cookbook box, in one of her recipes, in one of her recipe books was my grandmother's pound cake recipe. She had written that recipe on an envelope, a business envelope. And when I saw that, I'm like, oh my gosh, I got the pan and now I have the recipe. And so mm -hmm. I just started making the pound cake. And they were just the pound cakes, just like my grandmother made. And I was giving them to, I have caregivers that come in. I have nurses that come in. You know, if I go to a party, I was in a investment um, community. You know, to take my pound cakes to you know party and I would give them to neighbors that they would move into the neighborhood and two of my neighbors kept pounding me you know you need to sell these pound cakes these pound cakes are delicious you need to tell these pound cakes and I'm like it's just a pound cake you know they're like no so the neighbor to the right of me said I tell you what you make the pound cakes and I'll take them to the market to sell them I thought what Wow. 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 Really? I said, you really think the pound cake tastes that good? She said, yes. <laughs> and I said, wow. Okay. I grew up with it. So I took it for, you know, it's just a pound cake. You know, it's, I mean, it was good, but it was just a pound cake. And someone else saw something bigger in that it's just a pound cake. And so I hired someone to make me a, um, a, a website. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I started selling my pound cakes. And the person who made the website said, hey, Veronica, you know, I don't think you're charging enough for the pound cakes. I said, oh, no, you know, $25 is fine. I said, I want everybody to have a chance to taste this pound cake. And she was like, well, Veronica, okay. And so in my investment community, um, one of the instructors um, pulled me to the side and he said, Veronica, he says, your cakes are fantastic. He said, um, have you did the analysis on it? You know, is it bringing you money or are you just giving your cakes away? I'm like, well, what do I know? I just made the cakes and sell them. You know? <laughs> I didn't look any further. He was like, no, no, Veronica. That's not how you run a business. He said, I want you to go back. And he said, I want you to take every ingredients that you have and find out how many cakes you can make out of that ingredients. How much do you does it cost for you to make that? You know, to to buy that product. And I was like, man, okay. Well, listen, you guys, don't ever try to figure out sugar, okay? So you got a <laughs> ten pound bag of sugar, and they tell you uh, a teaspoon. How many teaspoons you can get out of a ten pound bag of sugar? I'm like. I don't bake with teaspoons. I bake with cups. <laughs> so now like, I got to break down these, what, a thousand and some teaspoons you can get out of a 10 pound bag of uh, sugar and then turn it into one cup. I'm like, okay, this is not fun. Well, what? At the end, he was absolutely right. She was absolutely right. I was literally giving my cakes away. I wasn't oh. making anything. I was giving my cakes away. So that was definitely a, a, a lesson, a lesson learned. But what I did is I took that pound cake and what I did is I thought, wow, you know what? You know, I love caramel and chocolate and pecans. I said, turtle candy. I love turtle candy. I'm going to try a turtle candy pound cake. I'm going to see if I can do this. So mm. I did. I, I actually took 
car, you know, it's the basic pound cake. That's why I call it Big Mama's Pound Cake because there's only one, um, in one formula that I use and everything else I like add into. So for the pound cake, a caramel pound cake, I just add some caramel syrup in the pound cake mix. And then after I bake the pound cake, you know, I put caramel on it, and then I put chocolate on top of the caramel, and then I sprinkle with pecans, a, a turtle caramel pound cake, you know, and, and so oh. I start thinking, okay, what else do I like, or, you know, during the holidays, you know, peppermint, people like peppermint, they like pumpkin, you know, so I just started, you know, incorporating those things, and I would, I, I don't, I never keep them at my house, because the pound cakes, you guys, are like, having Lay's potato chips. It is so true. Once you eat one, you have to go back to eat they're another addictive. one. I know. Yeah, addictive. that's the same I know I had them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Va Veronica. Yeah, so uh, um, just because we got to get to others, how do okay. people get in touch with you if they want to buy it? Do you have a website they could go to or what's mm -hmm. the best way? Yes, so I do. So my website is uh, Big Mama's Pound Cake and it's B I G M O M A S poundcake.com, or you can reach me at 623 341 9556. Um, as far as the 101 uh, and how it has uh, impacted my life, I tell you, when I first started out, when I, when I first got a call from Brian, I thought, oh, who is this? <laughs> Oh, wow. and, uh, and he said, uh, I got a referral and I, I want you, I have a, a, a group that we get together on a Tuesday and I would love for you to be, you know, come and, and talk about your power case. I heard great things. And I'm thinking, oh, I said, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let, let me think about it. And I'll get back with you. I don't know, maybe a couple of days later, Brian was on my phone again. And I was <laughs> like, Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were determined. And at the time I had a Tuesday um, a Zoom I was going to, but then I said, okay, this man is, he keeps calling me. So I'm going to see what he has. Right. And uh -huh. I told my friend, I said, listen, I've been with you for the last six months. I said, someone else is asking me to come over to their community. So I'm going to go over to their community and I'm going to check out their community. And I'm going to tell you, that was the best thing, Brian. I'm telling you, I appreciate oh, really? you. Yeah. Yes, yes. I appreciate you, oh, you know, nudging me to come over to see what you have. Because I have met so many wonderful people, the connections, the heart of people. I'm in another community and oh, it is wow. nothing compared to this, you know, the, the people are great. I've made great connections. I've had oh, wonderful uh, information has been, been given to me. You know, you're always there with a smiling face. I love our round tables. Well, thank we you. One-on-one, -on -one, the breakout groups. Yeah. You know, so it has truly been a blessing as far as my business is concerned. I've gotten so much support from everybody in the group. So I am really, really pleased. And I can't wait until I'm able to come mm -hmm. out to the uh, the little um, meetings that you guys have. I can't wait till oh, I can do that. that right would now, be wonderful. Yeah, yeah, right now I'm here with a daughter that's, you know, susceptible to germs. So I have to be oh. very careful. But I, I try to yeah. make sure I'm here on Tuesday. So I love being oh, in the group. Great, and I great. Enjoy oh, great. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You didn't even say your slogan. What, I know. What, I was going to tell you. Slogan, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so <laughs> what are they? I mean, they taste so good. What do they make you want to do? <laughs> Big Mama's Pound Cake tastes so good. They make you want to slap your mama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Oh, but I don't recommend you. that. No, really, and I'm telling hey, you, if you haven't had them, you gotta, you gotta try them and buy them. You know, we had them at my birthday party. Um, at the last mixer that we had, uh, one of the guys brought them in as, as a raffle gift. You know what I mean? And yeah. I'm telling you, they're phenomenal. And once you That's try a great one, idea. you can't just try one. You gotta keep going, you know. Yeah. But thank you, Veronica, for sharing that. Mm -hmm. No, it's great to see you. Yeah, yeah so what uh, Trevor... Yeah, can you tell us, you know, who you are, what you do, how can people reach you, and how has the 101 affected your your uh, business life? Yeah, of course, like, wonderful storytelling from Steven and Veronica, like, I love that, and I'm super engaged right now, but thank you guys so much, like, I present Trev Leads LLC, and essentially, uh, my passion is content creating, 
And I really believe in the value of brand development. And so you might ask like what a brand means or how do you even develop a brand? And so the skill sets I provide are in video production and marketing. So I can do websites, SEO, social media advertising, all the way to video production and video editing. And I really think both of the industries complement each other in that passage of a brand developing. And so you kind of think now, right? Like most of the communities are, are they're getting more attached to social media. Even if you're like Steven, like sometimes you're kind of inevitably going to end up there because like that's just where all of the attention and connections are. And so like this model with like networking, like has kind of like opened our eyes to like the value of like Facebook and reaching out to friends that even if you just made one first impression, like you have nothing to lose to reach out to all these wonderful people. And so you kind of think like, how can that, how can I leverage that to my business and make some profit off of that? And you just think, well, like, I just need to build the community. I just need to build some credibility. And so when my company is able to kind of talk to you as a personal business owner and like, <clears throat> and it gets personable. And so we ask, where do you see yourself a year from now? Where do you want, like, how do you want your ideal day to look? Like, I really believe in just trying to get 1% better every day. And so you kind of like, you have that sense of optimism and realism and you put it together and you say, well, I want my perfect day to be, I wake up and do this, this, and this, or I want my business to have reached this num these numbers or have this many employees or clients. And so you always have to make that measurable. And so I always will like go deep dive and depict how can this day like become real life? Well, you have to make that measurable come true. And so the measurable is community, meeting people, and the power of marketing kind of, I kind of bring it down like this analogy. Your arm can only reach the front two rows, but if you want to have some more exposure to the next 10 rows behind the initial two rows, marketing gives you that ability. And so even with the power of just a website with your name.com, that adds a personal brand that you feel envious to grow. You want to put all your awards or all your skills or your education, make that your resume where it's just a personal website with your name. Or if you want to make an organic or, and I made this presentation about uh, like advertising and you kind of like it's there's two sides of it. it's like demand generation demand harvest right and like if you want to attract people like right away like you need to get that exposure then like it's always good to post on social media it's always good to like be that consistent person so all your competitors are they're way behind you because you have that unique value and you being a unique person and posting that on your facebook or posting that on your website will get your credibility and you'll get your attention. And so I've like had a lot of, I, I think like I've had a lot of opportunities to meet people, but more importantly, I look at it as helping people. If I approach this model where I just wanna help people build their brand, you know, I can take some videos of you and like give you a pro professional visual as well as make you feel confident on how you present yourself online. If I approach that in a help-based way, I really believe that this community is going to flourish. Everyone's going to get more attached to each other. And so when I pursue a campaign, like one that you guys may hear about called Phoenix Local Review, it's acting as an interview of the real life business owner, the real Phoenix business owner. And that's what the kind of content and social media we should be looking at, like just getting some more familiarizing ourselves with like what really happens like how does a business owner in phoenix like actually function what is their passion like and then you story tell with like those core memories why you got into the business and so you think marketing and you may think wow i'm just thinking of the saturation people calling me every day about these random words called seo or asking me and spamming me if i need a website but I see marketing as an opportunity to meet people and make long-term connections. And the power of a first impression 
is speaks volume. Every time you make a first impression, you want to look at it in an optimistic way. Like I made my best impression. Now they're relying on me to follow up on them so I can help them out and they can help me out. And so that kind of segues to the power of the 101 networking group. And my journey is pretty interesting because like I came in and I was going Zoom, but I went to a meeting like two weeks after because I was really interested to just make connections. I was, I, me, myself being an extrovert, like I wanted to talk to people. I wanted to make conversation. And so I met my, my initial client, like the first real meeting I went to oh, wow. and he booked an appointment with me right away on on my website like engaged in my website which is like you know there's a lot of value for that if someone like actually is reading through your website like they may learn something that day and like that's my approach my phoenix local review my trev leads both of those websites are content that like that's literally me trying to help you like it's just regular like general marketing questions that you may have in your head that like you can have them answered right away. You don't even have to search wow. up in Google. And so the information <laughs> there like engaged someone on 101 and it's started a chain of events. And that's what like Brian's hard work does. It starts chain of events for all of us where we can continue to meet more people, go to more networking dinners and just feel more confident on social media. And so when someone wants to get some more customers, like when someone's like, oh, I want to see like 50% more profit than I did this year in 2023, like each year you're trying to grow, grow, grow. And the only way to be exponentially growing is if you're confident in your brand and how you present yourself online and in person. So the value is definitely there with videos and marketing and digital marketing but just approaching it in a help-based way will always help you as a person and as a business owner and we all have real life problems and that's why we can address it one percent better every day and just trying to look at the positives and continuing to networking and being hopeful that we'll network with one important person that could change my life and several people have changed my life in this group so there's a lot of volume behind that yeah oh great trevor um how can people reach you yeah is there a people, website you could send them to or would you rather them call you for a yeah, I, i'd love for them to call me at 520-336-2447 and i'm also based in an office in the scottsdale quarter where I like that's where my videography studio is our green screens our broadcasting cameras and so we have a really authentic approach at this. You know, we have all the tools and, and all the ideas to make this happen. So if you really are optimistic as a business owner and want to grow, want to build a community, get neighborhood awareness, this is definitely the way. So I'm really appreciative of you guys. Thank you for your time. Oh, great. Yeah, thank, thank you, you, Trevor. And I know he has an office in Scottsdale. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, we got to move on. So Diane, yeah, if you could go next. Uh, Again, tell us who you are, what you do, how can they get in touch with you? You got unmuted in the upper right corner. And then, yeah, let them know how has the 101 affected your business life? Sure, thank you. Yeah, I'm Diane Mordecai. I'm an independent rep with Neora International, which is a $2 billion anti-aging company. And we specialize in hair care, skin care, and wellness products. And how I got into this was I had looked in the mirror one day and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't stand my skin. And I'm, I look old and it was hard on me. <laughs> so I was so fortunate though, by the grace of God, that somebody, a friend of mine at a dinner just said, hey, you want to try some eye serum? I'm like, sure. She put it on one eye and about 10 minutes later, held up a mirror. I compared it to the other eye and the wrinkles had diminished significantly. I had never seen a product work so well. And then I got scared because I have a master's degree in health education. I'm very concerned about the contents, the ingredients and in products and if they're healthy. And I said, would you mind sending me all the ingredients? And I looked them up and I found out there was no toxicity at all. There was actually a plant-based product. I said, what else do you have? So she sent me a whole listing of the other products. I said, I want a whole kit, just send them to me. I'll take it, I'll take it all. And I have been so excited about the results. I shared it with a friend, my friend Lori, 
and she had access to the most expensive, all kinds of um, skincare products out there. And she tried this and she said, oh my gosh, she said, let's do it. I said, do what? She said, well, <laughs> let's market this, let's do this business. I said, absolutely, let's do it because we both love helping people. And so that's how I got started. And um, it has been so wonderful because I always feel when people come up to you, like we were talking about, everyone has problems. We all have issues and mm -hmm. people say, oh, I don't love my hair. Or, my hair is falling out or I hate my skin or my joints hurt. Uh, my memories, I don't have my memory anymore. I can't remember things. I don't have focus. And instead of me saying, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I can relate. Um, I have something I can offer. And when people come back and they have a big smile on their face and it's like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. That is the biggest thrill for me. So this is why I do this business. For example, my friend Lori has a little granddaughter that um, wasn't focusing in school and was basically failing out of first grade. And the, and the parents didn't want to give her drugs, you know, um, pharmaceuticals. And so Lori gave her what we have called EHT, it's a brain health supplement. And the little girl now is a straight A student in school. And so these kinds of nice. stories are just, yes, yeah, so, so heartwarming. <laughs> or my friend, Sophia, had a bald spot in her hair. She's around my age and she used her hair care products. The bald spot's gone. She gets so many compliments on her hair. She wound up joining my team and, um, you know, is able to help other people. Now we have other salon owners wanting to share the wow. product. And there is a salon out in Beverly Hills that uses our, that shares our um, hair care products. A lot of salons actually, but, and, um, there was another example I wanted to share. So, oh yeah, so we have a chiropractor on our team and I thought she was so interested in like the wellness products. No, she got up in front of us all and said, I joined this business because this skincare changed my life. She had pits in her skin from acne and had tried all sorts of laser treatments, expensive treatments, painful treatments, and the skincare that we had smoothed her skin out. She was in tears by the time she was done telling her story. So yeah, these are the types of things that we offer and I love sharing them one-on-one -on -one with people and we have parties and also they are available in chiropractic offices, um, other medical practices, salons and spas. And I love helping people have these products in their um, businesses so they can help others just like I do. And I'll tell you how I love yeah, one a networking or networking group. It is so amazing that when I was in Pennsylvania, I moved here to Arizona in April and I was looking for, hey, are there any vendor events, any ways I can get out and share my product in a new town, you know, start all over and mm -hmm. um, meet people. And I was searching on Facebook, we're talking about social media and I saw Brian's group. And I connected with Brian when I got here, not knowing that he and his family, uh, his brother is the eye doctor for my mother and myself. I know. <laughs> so I walked into the first meeting and he's like, yeah, representing, yeah, you know, my brother. I was like, what? This is just so wild. And he's also the yeah. best eye doctor. So I went, oh, uh, thank you, thank you. Family. Yeah, and wow. the networking group is, was, is so welcoming and the energy is so positive that then I take that energy into my business throughout the day, throughout the weeks. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes. Yes. No, and well, I, well, it, can I just chime in? Uh, yeah. She came in with her mother for an appointment and I think we scheduled a lunch meeting Yes. And with my sister and we all went to lunch and I actually got to see her products up close and personal, which I don't get a chance with everybody. You know what I mean? But I you remember that I tried it on my hand and she's like, oh yeah, look at this result on one of my wrinkles you know and, and uh yeah so I, i'm telling you you got some great products and uh <clears throat> you know i'm just so glad that you guys well that we met you know what i mean and you're able to uh flourish in yes. uh, in the network group so uh how can people get in touch with you diane yeah, thank you so they can get in touch with me on facebook i do have a active facebook page it's under diane mordecai and also my phone number 717 3852694. Oh, great, great. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm so glad to hear the stories from you guys. You know, I don't get a chance to, to talk to a lot of people during the course of the day, but, uh, you know, I thought this would be beneficial. Not only could I hear it, but other people could learn what you do and how, how to get in touch with you. So, 
thanks everybody for being here and being a part of this uh, roundtable. So uh, we'll talk to you soon, okay? All right. Reach Thank out you to them. Nice. Thank you, everybody. Take care, everyone.